welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to the video. Today we are going to be doing a collative January haul. What I have purchased through January, makeup, items, different bits and bits, bobsy bitsy bitsy bobs. All sorts of things, mainly makeup and things, obviously. And whether I stuck to my goals, did I only do 50 on makeup and 30 on skincare? Wanna find out? Carry on watching. They're all in this basket here, as you saw the picture and there's a few extra items let's get the boring items for out first number one what do you think to my background very spring like isn't it very i don't know is it heather i haven't got a clue what is it shall i show you what it is it's a shower curtain <laughs> um it was tom's idea he said that's very pretty up there isn't it i might drag it down actually i've got sort of this area behind me at the moment which is something different it's showing some of the shadows but i do like it and it was four pound from lidl um i don't know if you guys get lidl where you are but i thought that was rather fantastic and throw the box away it was cheap enough it's bright enough i don't know give me your comments right another thing is i ran out of my um body shop fuji green tea refreshing purifying shampoo uh, and i got the large bottle actually i got two bottles because they're eight pound fifty these big large bottles these 400 mils but they were by um buy one get one half price so it was 12 pound something for the two which i thought was a lot See how heavy it is. And also, I'm running low on my banana mask for my hair also, which is the Truly Nourishing Mask. And this is delightful. It smells... Oh! And I don't use conditioner. Uh, what I can do with this is basically double shampoo and then a lob of that on, shower myself, and by the time I take that off and comb through it, it's beautiful and soft. Need dyeing. Need to dye it. That's my next job. Right, let's get on to the exciting bit. Have I stuck to my goals? My goals were £50 on makeup and £30 on skincare only a month. That was to stop me buying loads more palettes because I've still got about seven palettes I really, really need to review and go do an eye look, etc. My eye look today is using my Z palette. It'll be up on my Instagram. Anywho, um, skincare. Let's get the boring bit out of the way. Skincare is the Aveda, there it is, skin toning agent. I really like this. Although it is, I think it's £15 normally, and on a Debenham sale, it was down to £12.60, I do believe. I forgot my notepad. What an idiot. Um, but it's 12.60 and this was something new daily balancing moisturizer i have never ever used yes to tomatoes but i recently found out they are cruelty free so i thought right daily balancing moisturizer say yes to tomatoes with watermelon extracts and in here it's a pump which really intrigued me because you can actually see how much you're using and um, natural ingredients, blah de blah de blah. So let's find out what that's all about. Oh, and this was £17.70. So I suppose I went over about 30 pence. So, but I did do well. I didn't go mad. Now, makeup. The first thing I got, if you may have seen this already, which is the heart liner. With the liner on the heart stamp with the liner from W7. I got this. It was only two ninety nine, which is good. If you've seen my love uh, Valentine's three, I think it's three looks one palette. And I also got a foundation blending brush. Now this apparently is very good for blending. I haven't actually tried it, but then looking at it, it's one of my pet hates. My my brush ones would either be my foundation brush one, uh, videos video. Blah, 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 blah. Foundation video will be up 
uh, or either is up or will be up soon. Um, but that I bought that thinking it was a big foundation brush and it's only tiny, but apparently it's really good with the swirly bits at the end for liquid foundations. So I'm going to put this in the giveaway. So it's not technically, it's a bit small. <laughs> Say something for me, doesn't it? <laughs> The next company was Morphe. Now me and Sarah always go join together when we're buying from Morphe because it's £30 and you get free delivery. So uh, we both got the Morphe Continuous Spray uh, Setting Spray. I do like this. It's the one thing I do like from Morphe for £15. And she also got in her package the new Morphe Foundation. There it is, there's the picture. <laughs> there you are. Um, in sample size, she's tried it and she said it's very drying, very um, thick, very yuck. So I will be trying that out. And also, she got a free lipstick in there. Two. She bought one and got two. So, little me had um, a freebie, which is the Morphe colour. Of the liquid of the liquid of the uh, bullet lipstick it looks like this how sleek is that it's great isn't it and it's in the color morphe which is red so we will be trying that out thank you Sarah um right the next thing I got um oh yeah from W7 I also got a uh, little foundation samples in this little bag should we open it up and find out? It's double ribboned. It's always a pretty this. Look at that. It goes with my background. Anyway, it says in here, oh, please find and close some W7 Legend Foundation samples to try. And here they are. Whoop, there they are. And by the looks of it, we've got buff, which is normally my colour in theirs. Natural beige. Ooh, ooh. Sand beige. And fresh beige. Buff is normally my colour. So it's one of these two that I will try. But I will try um, one of them. And if I get the match shade, then uh, another little foundation to try. But how nice is that? And my order was only £8 something. So it, you know... They've added that sort of like, oh, try our foundation. How very nice. Then I went on to Beauty Bay. Uh, and I had to try this. The Dose of Colour New Liners. And they're all sold out now because I thought, well, if I like this, and I really do like the detail, that there's green in the packet. Ooh, and it's very sleek. Look at this. How sleek and delicious is that? I just like that. I like the pencil. I like the green. Obviously, I've got green. <laughs> See? How sleek is that? And then you turn it up, they're using this, I gather. Oh, no, it's that bit there. Hold the top bit. But I had to get the... Oh, forest green. Yay. I didn't swatch the lipstick, did I, Fora? Let's just swatch the lipstick for you. Not a red red, it's more of a pinky red. But hey, it's one to try. Now I really do like these. I like the look of them. I like the idea that you've got the, the colour at the top. And they just look so sleek. And mm, I just like them. It's better than a normal... Oh, where we are. They just look so sleek. Um, if this stays on your... Oh gosh, look. Let the finger look at that. Wet my finger again. <laughs> when they come back in stock, I shall get a few of these and we shall do some swatches on the eye because these things, I, I can't wait to use this. Let me stick that in my pile of new things to try. Oh, love. Right, the next thing I got is um, there was a sale on at Debenhams again. And I always wanted to try the pillow pout from Buxom. Big Buxom. Because this is a plumping, weightless, 
wet powder technology tingling sensation cushion full coverage matte color um and i used to adore the clinique was it clinique yes clinique and they had a long thin it was a similar thing to the it was like a long thin silver one like that with a little bulges at the bottom and that was a cream to powder uh, powder lipstick and I've always wanted to tr to find a cruelty free solution to it and then out comes Buxom with this fingers crossed this is beautiful there you are, look. the product is in the bottom there oh it is it's, oh, it's better than the Clinique that actual squidgy thing at the end feels much better than the Clique, Cl Clinique. Um, I don't know if you know, I am a cruelty-free YouTuber, therefore I can't use Clinique. But there we go, look. I like. Again, if these are good and they stay on, we shall be doing a wear test with that. In fact, I might get some more colours. A red one. Why not? <laughs> and another thing I could not resist, which is usually... Uh, a lot more money than I paid is the Kat Von D swoon. I have always wanted this when it was in the Kat Von D and Too Faced heart palette that comes apart. But I never actually got to buy it because I thought the Too Faced bit was so boring. And the Kat Von D bit, I can't get into it. Let me in. Hello, let me in. Oh, there we are. <laughs> and the Kat Von D bit, I liked the black and the red, but it's black. I've got loads of her black. Loads and loads and loads of her black. Um, and the red was swoon. Seven hours later, I'm in! <laughs> and here it is. There we are, look. Uh, I've been looking at this but I thought I'm not paying I think it's £18 and this little beauty it was only 8 oh yes I can't get the lights to shine but that is beautiful it's like a coppery red I don't normally go for um, singles but I have got her Lolita and I love it so this will be another one, another look for definite. I definitely are going to do a look with that. Um, I just love, look at it. And it blends. That looks yellowy. I don't know if it's this purple that's making my lights go all funny, but I look really tanned. Hello. Anywho, that's what I got. Uh, how am I doing with my goals otherwise? Um, uploads messed up because of the end of January, beginning of February. I was ex extra, extremely, extremely ill at the end of January. Catching up with normal, normal work um, at the beginning of February. But other than that, um, my goals are doing well. Weight loss. Still levelling out a bit, I'm afraid. I've only lost £5 since the beginning of the year. But my exercise is uh, upped. I started off in January doing two or three times at the gym and a couple of aquafits. Uh, and I've moved on for the last two weeks doing gym every single day. Not the same routine, but gym every single day. Uh, more cardio work and toning up, you know, the wobbly bits. Um, and also a uh, row machine because it's a full body workout. I've been doing that for two weeks every single day and I'm enjoying it. I don't know if it's the endorphins hitting my brain or what, but I am really, really enjoying it. It makes me feel awake. Yes, awake, especially if I do it in the morning. Now this morning I'm not because I'm going to go and get weighed today. Fingers crossed, I actually lose some weight now. But what I've been told is muscle weighs, well, I know, muscles weigh heavier. A five pound of muscle weighs heavier than five pound of fat. I put it up on my Instagram. 
um, than when I found it. But basically, uh, I might be getting smaller, but I'll be staying the same because my muscles are toning. Something like that. But anyway, so we'll find out how that goes. But at the moment, this month, I'm still at a stone and five pound, which is 19 pounds weight loss so far, which isn't a lot, but I am a lot more healthier. I'm eating better and I'm exercising. So let's see what happens. Anyway, there we go. There is my waffle. Uh, and I shall see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this lunatic sat in front of you. And I shall see you soon. Bye. Good